I'm Salim Rukos. I uh, work in the research division on developing techniques for analyzing natural language. So the focus is develop algorithms to either understand written text or spoken text or to translate from one language to another. The one advice I always uh, give and I, keep, and I fundamentally believe is that time is the limited resource. I'm sure I learned it the hard way. Actually, <laughs> I learned it really the hard way because when I was a little kid, I used to not pay attention at school, let's say. <laughs> this is the ability of making computers read electronic text and understand the meaning of the sentences. So it analyzes the words, the relationships between the words, and for example, we can have a system that can detect if an acquisition is mentioned in the news story. I grew up actually very far from here in Tripoli, Lebanon. This actually has been phenomenal. I sometimes make the joke that I came from Earth to Mars. <laughs> that much is the dramatic difference between where I grew up and where I ended up with. So it's been actually very exciting for me. I was invited by a famous researcher at TJ Watson to give a talk at uh, an IBM sponsored event, actually very fancy in Austria. I was very pleased. Uh, and he convinced me to join IBM Research, and I did. I've been working in this field for a couple of decades. It's sort of really a unique opportunity from my point of view, the fact I was concentrating on this problem for such a long period of time. I still remember 15 years ago when we had our first Arabic-English translation system, and I would tell people, look, you can guess what the person meant to say. We really didn't understand what was being said there when it translates from Arabic to English, but at least you get the gist of what they're talking about. Now, 15, 15 years later, it's actually very impressive. You, I'm sort of surprised that a machine can produce such fluent English from an Arabic piece of text. So we have applications that are question answering and the ability of a user to come to a website via a chat interface, type a question, get an answer to serve the particular problem they're trying to solve. This is actually one of the major impetuses of cognitive systems. It's the ability of machines to analyze content, we call it unstructured content, and reason about it ultimately. So it's a journey. At this point, we're doing the first early stages, which is understanding natural language, which is the text or the spoken language. What always excited me is uh, the statistical models of a signal, and language is a very rich signal. One example is if you are a a bank trader where you are doing foreign trades. So you can say, what are the rules that apply for me to transfer $5,000? And the system will give you the answer. So natural language is only a stepping stone, really, because uh, you want to also reason about what's happening. So you want the system to be smarter, or intelligent systems sometimes we refer to them. So a combination of natural language processing with reasoning is the way of the future.